Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web and take. We're gonna break down an all new Next Helmet. It's the XWRL. Before we jump in and show you all the gizmos and gadgets in the XWRL, go ahead and subscribe. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear content on the web. Okay, next, if you're not familiar, they're a Portuguese helmet manufacturer. Portugal's in Europe, in case you didn't know, they're one of the last manufacturers over there still making their helmets actually in their factory that they own in Portugal, which is cool. Portugal is a hotbed for thermoplastics. That's kind of what gave rise to uh, Next in that area. So, you know, a lot of their helmets are polycarbonate, but a fair amount of them are this really sweet 3K carbon. It's called, they call it X-Pro. It's their proprietary uh, molding carbon technology, which is extremely strong and light. That's what they're going for on this helmet. So this is a dual sport helmet and it is a raw dual sport helmet. By that, I mean there's no interior drop-down visor, and uh, it is more off-road focus, I would say, because of that. So they're going for lightweight. With that carbon shell and no drop-down visor, this one may look big because it's a 2X, it's for my fat head, uh, so this is my helmet, but um, they are compact, there's three shell sizes, it fits close, and it's very lightweight. So it's right about at that three pound mark, even with all the gear, with the visor extender, with the face shield on it, and uh, all the goodies inside. So when you, you can run it with or without this uh, face shield here, and you can run it with goggles, I'll show you all that in a minute. Um, so lightweight, uh, not light on the price, relatively expensive, coming in at 639 to 689 so this puts that in that premium area which for a full carbon helmet made in Europe, that's kind of what we'd expect. And actually compared to some of the other premium lines on the market, I'd say it's rather fair. So three shell sizes, which is important. That means you're not gonna be wearing a helmet that is too big for your head, right? More shell sizes is better. Say the average is probably two, so three is, is uh, on the plus side of that. Size range, extra small through three X, which is great because a lot of these helmet manufacturers will stop at two X. And so if you got a big dome, uh, I feel your pain, number one. Number two, you can fit into this 3X, perhaps. Go by that next sizing chart at speedx.com. The fit is true, intermediate, oval. And remember, if you buy your next helmet with SpeedX, not only will you ride faster and look cooler, but we also cover free exchanges and returns. So if the helmet doesn't fit, just decide it's not for you. As long as it's new with the original packaging, we are happy to pay to get that back to us and set you up with whatever you need. Okay, let's dive in and see what goodies they've included in the box, because there's a few. Namely, uh, up top, visor extender. So a lot of dual support helmets, they have visors or peaks as we call them in the business, but they're pretty short. So they're kind of just for looks and you do want to look cool, right? You look like the guy from Halo with this thing, but it doesn't block a lot of sun a lot of times. So if sun is an issue, next is included that extra piece here you see on top, it's an add-on. So you can run it if you want to, if you don't want to run it, you pull it off, you're going to get a little less drag in the wind. Also in the box, you get two face shields. So you're gonna get this Iridium Jam. This is like the same color on all the different colorways. They all come with this as their extra. So it's a smoke when you're looking at it, out of it when you're looking at it, it's this Iridium red orange kind of cool color that goes with a lot of stuff. Also in the box, <clears throat> you're gonna get a clear. Injection molded, pin lock ready. Pinlock is not included. I wish they'd do that at this price point. They sell them separate, but if you need to manage fog, get that pinlock insert installs right on the inside and we'll deal with you, any sort of fog problems you have. Uh, they are also making, next, all new for next, is they're making a transitions lens, which is available sold separately. Okay, also in here, you get a nice carry bag. It's on the big side, I guess. You can fit the, uh, the off-road visor in there. So you're gonna get a carry bag. You're also going to get a bag for your extra shield and a few other goodies here. Okay, they give you lots of stuff. So <clears throat> you're gonna get extra screws in case you lose your screws for the top visor or peak as we call it. These are kind of nice. Uh, they kind of feel like aluminum, billet aluminum. So. Uh, they probably won't shear off, the visor will break in case you get in an accident, but they do give you an extra set. That's handy because I know folks lose those sometimes. Uh, also, in the front, you do have your option on this mouthpiece right here. You can run this uh, mesh grill, which is going to get more airflow. If you want less airflow, you can put a blocker on there. So depending on the temperature, you can block that off. We'll go more into ventilation in a minute. And then they give you this uh, GoPro mount. This installs up here on the top. 
You have to take the peak off and you slide this in and you get a nice top mount GoPro view that's flat with the horizon. Okay, all the goodies out of the way. Oh, I forgot. My favorite. This is uh, both disconcerting and unique blood type stickers. All right, so just in case, you throw that on the back of your helmet and uh, paramedics know, know what to give you. Okay, so let's talk about ventilation. Underneath here, we have these really nifty little brow vents. Okay, right here, those switch on and off. And then you have a ton of ventilation on the top. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this off because I wanna show you what it looks like without the, uh, the face shield on it anyways. So we're gonna take this visor off. <clears throat> these unscrew, these screws have, um, a slot on them that's made for a coin because that is always handy, right? Instead of like a, a Phillips screwdriver or something like that. So these are slotted to make this as painless as possible. All right, there's your visor. You can see all the arrow work they did on that so that it won't pull on you on the freeway. It, it's good, good up to some decent speeds. Okay, now with that out of the way, you can see all this ventilation. So that ram air vent was being hidden. This is your primary entry point for air and it is a gradual like um, switch so you can reduce airflow you don't have to turn it all the way off and same on these switches on the side beefy switches they feel very solid you know and there's it's a three position switch which is nice and then i already showed you that down there <clears throat> in the back they do have exhaust so you'll get a nice vacuum exhaust it'll pull the hot air out and the cool air in and we're going to go ahead and remove the spiffy Iridium face shield real quick so you can see what this looks like with goggles on it. Let's get the handy helmet done it. All right. There we go. And we'll reconstruct here real quick. Okay. One note about next, you might see it advertised by European uh, dealers into the USA. Do note that if you buy your next helmet from outside of the US, it will not be warrantable in the States. I like to let folks know that. So if you see a, a deal that's good, too good to be true, it probably is. It, it also won't be DOT. This helmet is DOT and ECE 2205, which means it's dual homologated. We always like to see that because those tests are different, the European test versus, whoops. versus the uh, the DOT test versus the European test. They emphasize different you know parts of uh, helmet safety. And so when we see a dual labeled helmet, we always like that. And this helmet is dual labeled. Okay, so now we're in our off-road configuration. I'll be honest with you, when this helmet first, uh, the images first showed up here uh, before they went live with this helmet, we we're kind of confused because Nex has a lot of dual sport helmets. They have a lot of adventure style helmets. And we weren't really sure where this was supposed to fit in the lineup, but once it showed up here, we like we got it. Um, and it looks really cool without the visor on it. It fits, it's got a nice big eye port, good peripheries. It fits all sorts of different goggles. I'll go ahead and show you. We'll slice in a clip of me wearing this helmet so you can get a feel for what it looks like on someone's head. And again, number one point of, uh, you know, air entry into a helmet with your goggles on is around those goggles. So big eye port is nice to have. And they also have that goggle strap in the back. So this thing snaps off and you can loop your goggles through and then smush them on. And <clears throat> let's go ahead and flip this guy over. We'll show you what we're working with inside because there are more surprises. Okay, we have hydration um, routing on either side. So that's what these, these little strappies are. These are like uh, elastic straps. You can run your hydration through here and up to your mouth. You also notice that this liner, <clears throat> the cheek pads and liner, all removable, washable, replaceable, wicking, yes, all that stuff. But you'll see all these different panels that they've stitched in here. Each panel takes time, craftsmanship, money. It gives it a nice like luxury feel and look, but this is where some of the price is coming from. You see things like this on a premium helmet. Here you are with your premium European helmet. You can tell all your buddies about. Um, the strap, this is cool. Every helmet should have this. I don't know why they don't, but it's magnetic. Instead of trying to fish for that little snap, it just finds itself real easy. It's about time. We're gonna undo this. D-ring closure, which for off-road is advisable. And then we're gonna show you here, we got the uh, emergency release. You can see this is emergency release uh, cheek pad system. So in case EMS has to get the helmet off you in an emergency, they can easily remove those cheek pads and then pull this helmet off your head. 
Also kind of interesting the way they did this <clears throat> this grill up here. So kind of a cool looking piece inside the chin bar which holds in the uh, the grill sponge. You can remove that and, and change out your filter or wash it or whatever you need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out of the way. Um, the material they use, Next uses, is called Xmart. It's a wicking, fast drying material. It's kind of neoprene feeling. Keeps you cool when it's warm, warm when it's cool. But uh, the most uh, interesting thing is it dries twice as fast as cotton. And uh, that's what the cheek pad looks like. Also inside it is ported, um, sorry, it does have recesses for speakers so you can run comms on this in case you're wondering. Most people are these days. Cheek pads are out of the way. And that will reveal your speaker pocket right there. So you can plug that in. There is no, a lot of the next helmets are have integrated comms or are comms ready and they have somewhere in the shell to pop the computer in. They decide not to do this. They think this is like a more adventure focused um, kind of raw, lightweight performance helmet. So they did not do the full integrated comms, but you can run whatever comm system you want. You also notice on that profile, it does have the collarbone relief, which is nice. So this, think, think of riders that are probably spending a little bit more time in the dirt than they are in the street would be a good fit for the WRL. Whereas if you're going to be spending a fair bit of time on the street, you might want to check out the X West or um, X Wed 2 from, uh, from Next. Okay, we're going to move this liner one way or another. Come on, baby. There it is. All right, we have the liner out. Premium liner, really nice. Again, it's a proprietary X-Smart material. With this out of the way, you can see an EPS foam liner in here that is unique. It's almost, um, it's almost ribbed. The way they've molded and channeled this, it's gonna allow the helmet to sit away from your head and create some space in between your head and the liner and get really like the airflow really hitting your scalp. They've done it in kind of a unique way. I haven't seen a liner quite like this. And it does have also has ports. So next has a two-year warranty. Should you have any issues, um, they're going to stand behind that for two years. All the warranties are handled by a warranty house inside the USA. DOT ECE certified. You want something that's high end, 3K carbon, very lightweight, three pounds. Um, you're going to get the extra face shields in the box. You're going to be dialed. Street, dirt, whatever comes at you. Head over to speedx.com to shop for this next XWRL and hundreds of other helmets. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.